Hey everyone, Apple has officially released macOS 26.1 Beta 4, and while it's not a groundbreaking update, it's definitely a substantial one, especially on the MacBook Pro M4, where the download size reaches 4.82 gigabytes. That usually means there's more going on under the hood than it first appears, fine-tuning the system's visuals, stability, and performance with a few quiet but meaningful changes. At the same time, Apple also released iOS 18.1 Beta 4, iPadOS 18.1 Beta 4, WatchOS 11.1 Beta 4, and tvOS 18.1 Beta 4. So if you're testing across multiple devices, this is a synchronized round of updates aimed at polishing the entire ecosystem rather than introducing big new features. The biggest visual change in this beta appears in System Settings, Appearance. You can now choose between clear and tinted modes for the liquid glass interface. Clear keeps the familiar translucent look from earlier betas, smooth gradients, gentle reflections, and a subtle sense of depth. Tinted removes that transparency, creating a solid surface, darker in dark mode, lighter in light mode, for a simpler, more classic look. It's a small adjustment, but for anyone who found the glass effect too reflective or distracting, it's a welcome one. Now you can decide whether you want the modern translucent style or a cleaner, more defined appearance. Another quiet update in this beta is the refinement of the Apps app, Apple's new take on organizing your applications. It now shows seven icons per row instead of six, using screen space more efficiently. You still can't rearrange icons or create your own folders, but you can now resize the window vertically, which brings it closer to a full screen experience. At the same time, Apple has reportedly started removing launchpad style clones from the App Store. That might be a hint that a native full screen version of the Apps app, or even a true launchpad revival, could return in a future macOS update, possibly in 26.2 or later. This update also brings several improvements across the system. Finder is now faster and more responsive when transferring large files. Safari offers better website compatibility and uses less power during video playback. Messages syncs more quickly across devices through iCloud. System settings opens faster and keeps your preferences more reliably. Mail and calendar include small fixes for search and event syncing. AirDrop and Handoff have been refined for smoother connection between Mac and iPhone. Benchmark tests show a modest but steady improvement in performance. On the M4 Mac Mini, single-core results reach around 388 and 49, and multi-core scores come in at 15,474, slightly higher than in the previous beta. This points to ongoing optimization, especially for Apple Silicon devices. There are no major visible changes in day-to-day -day responsiveness, but animations feel a bit smoother, system transitions are cleaner, and overall stability remains solid. Battery performance also appears slightly improved during regular use, suggesting better background process management. This beta also improves overall performance and battery life. Apps open faster, animations run more smoothly, and background tasks use fewer system resources. Power efficiency has been fine-tuned, especially on Apple Silicon models, keeping the Mac cooler and extending uptime, though there are no major changes in battery drain compared to the previous version. This beta also includes several bug fixes and stability improvements. Search in the Apple TV app now works more reliably. Background processes have been optimized for smoother syncing and better battery life, and overall animations feel more consistent. Apple has also prepared internal updates to support future AI integrations and upcoming macOS 26.2 features. Based on Apple's usual schedule, the release candidate, RC, should arrive around October 27th, with the final public release expected on November 3rd, followed soon after by the first macOS 26.2 beta. These builds typically focus on performance tuning, minor interface adjustments, and bug fixes that prepare the system for the next round of new features. If Apple follows its recent pattern, 26.2 could bring the first major feature additions since the initial Tahoe release. 
macOS 26.1 Beta 4 doesn't bring major new features, but it continues to refine the overall look and feel of macOS Tahoe, making the system smoother, more stable, and visually balanced. With updated appearance options, better performance, and tighter integration across Apple's platforms, this version feels like a final round of polishing before the public release. If you're already testing the beta, it's a safe and reliable update to install. And if you're waiting for the official rollout, it's just around the corner.